self-service portal of tax and revenue management system. Taxpayer registration by existing business partner number. This video is a walkthrough tutorial for taxpayers of Zimbabwe who have already signed up for self-service portal and now want to complete their taxpayer registrations online by using their existing business partner, BP numbers. In this lesson, we will show you how to log into the portal and, by using your existing BP number, fill out the required form of taxpayer registration and then submit the completed documents for official approval. To start, launch your internet browser, preferably Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Now you need to navigate to the landing page of the self-service portal. Click on the navigation bar, enter the URL address of the portal, https colon slash slash mytaxselfservice.zimra.co.zw. When done, press enter in Windows, or return in Mac. Wait a while. The login page of the self-service portal opens. To enter self-service portal, you need valid SSP user credentials, username, and password. Provided you have already a valid SSP user, first type your username. Then enter the password. When you are done, click the login button. Wait a while, if all you've entered is correct. The welcome page of the self-service portal opens. It displays shortcuts for various types of taxpayer registration. You may fill out individual registration on your own behalf. Or register the organization you represent. You may also register yourself as the representative of deceased taxpayer. All these three shortcuts are for persons that have no registered data. Meanwhile, if you personally, or the organization you represent, have already registered business partner number, that is still in effect, then you are supposed to click on this, register by existing BP number shortcut. When you click on register by existing BP number, a pop-up window opens. Click on BP number text box. Type the BP number you have, for example, 02003188845. Now click verify. This BP number is associated with an individual. SSP asks for birth date data. Click on date of birth. Enter your birth date. For example, the 13th of January 2000. When done, click continue. The form for individual registration opens. The personal details of a taxpayer, such as ID or passport number, first name, middle name, surname, gender, etc., as well as their permanent address are generated and displayed by the portal automatically. Fill out the registration form accurately. Note that data fields marked with red asterisk are mandatory. At the very end of the registration form, you are supposed to specify the taxpayer type for the individual. Select the appropriate option, for example, employment. A pop-up window opens, fill in the text fields as appropriate. When you are all done, click save. To finish your work, even if you filled out the application form completely, it is advisable you first save it as a draft for further reviewing and editing. To do this, click the save as draft button. And your work will be still accessible by visiting the drafts web page of the taxpayer registration module. Returning to the welcome page of the portal. Suppose, you want to register an organization you represent, and that organization has actual BP number. Start as before, click on register by existing BP number. The registration by BP number window pops up. Click upon the BP number text box. Type the business partner number of the organization you represent. When you are done, click verify. The portal verifies the entered BP number and sends a verification code to the registered email address of the organization. Click upon verification code text box. Type the verification code. Now you need to specify the entity type of the organization. Click on entity type text box. And select the correct option from the drop down menu. When you are all done. Click continue. 
the form for business organization registration opens. Some of general details of the organization, such as registration number, registered name, trade name as well as the permanent address are generated and displayed by the portal automatically. All data fields are displayed in editable mode, so you can, and you are supposed to, review all information carefully, and enter only correct and up-to-date data. Note that data fields marked with red asterisk are mandatory. At the very end of the registration form, you are supposed to specify the entity subtype for the organization. To do this, click on entity subtype text box, and then select the appropriate option. For example, cooperative. A pop-up window opens, fill in the text fields as appropriate, scroll down as necessary. When you are all done, click save. To finish your work, even if you filled out the application form completely. It is advisable you first save it as a draft for further reviewing and editing. To do this, click the Save as Draft button. Provided that the document is complete, and it needs no more reviewing. First check the legal notice. Then click the Submit button. Submitted documents are to be examined and approved by the officials of Zimbabwe Revenue Authority, Zimra. All taxpayer registration forms you have created, both drafts and submitted applications, will be accessible by visiting the taxpayer registration module of SSP, drafts and applications web pages respectively. That's it. In this lesson, we showed you how to log into the portal, and, by using the existing business partner number, fill out and submit a taxpayer registration application on your own behalf, or on behalf of the organization you represent. Thanks for watching.